prayer is the means to which God gives to us. It is in the place of prayer. Yes, we hear the Word of God and we're excited and we come to the altar call and the pastor prays and you pray. Bam! Prayer is the place where you get. Oh, if God wants to give it to me, preach it to me. Some of you just want the healing to come to you like that. Yes, yeah, sometimes we just pray for you. But I tell you, when you come to the place of prayer and you connect with God in the place of prayer, that's the place where you get. That's the place where there's a release. That's the place where you release your faith. Hallelujah. Look at Luke chapter 6, verses 12 to 13. Luke chapter 6. Now it came to pass in those days that Jesus went out to the mountain to pray. The mountain to pray. Let's all go to Mount Jafu. Amen. And continued all night in prayer. All night. And when it was day, He called His disciples to Himself. And from them, He chose 12 whom He also named apostles. Jesus Himself needed to pray when he needed to make a decision. It was not an automatic connection with God all the time. He needed to pray. The Son of God himself needed to pray. How much more you and I? Don't just live life just doing whatever you want to do, buying whatever you want to buy, go making friends with whoever comes to you, investing anywhere, going to any college that people say. No, connect to heaven first. Here Jesus was about to make a very important decision, choosing 12 Disciples to be as apostles. Very important because these were going to become the foundation of the church. And not only that, even for eternity, they will be recognized as the 12. The 12 apostles of Jesus. They represent the government of God. And so Jesus went up to the mountain to pray. And all night he continued in prayer because he did not want to make a mistake. He wanted to make sure that he hears from God. And after he prays, he comes and he calls them to him and he chooses them. This is what I believe. When Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, God gave to him the names. God gave to him Peter, Thomas, Amen, James, John. God gave to Jesus the understanding the will, the wisdom as he prayed. You know why prayer is essential? Because God wants you to be a successful Christian on the earth. God wants you to live a fruitful life. God wants you to walk in the ways he has made for you. The Bible says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. God wants you to walk in those good works, but you will not know how to, you will not know when to decide unless you go into that mountain of prayer and God gives to you. God gives you to your understanding. 